everybody, I'm Dallene, and I would like to welcome you to my kitchen. Today, I'm making another family favorite. This is my steak fajitas. Now, steak fajitas are pretty well known. Uh, most people order them in a Mexican restaurant, so they're pretty common, and uh, I think that you guys might like them. I had decided to make them today, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and record them for y'all. And I really hope that y'all like them. I think that you will. And if you do, I hope that you will also choose to subscribe. So, yeah, I hope you like them. So, the ingredients that we need today are, I have some vegetable oil, some um, salsa, I have mild salsa, some sour cream, I have my salt and pepper, and I have some onions. I have one large onion and a smaller one. I want plenty of onions, and I love onions. If you don't like onions, just leave them out. Okay, and then I have some bell peppers. I have a, one big one and one a little bit smaller. And then I have some tortilla wraps, burrito wraps. <laughs> So I like the big ones. You can use little ones too if you like, but I do like the big ones. And then I have some cheese, some shredded cheese. This is a Mexican blend. So it's kind of like a, probably cheddar and mozzarella mixed together. It's a, like I said, it's a Mexican blend and already all grated. Uh, you can buy yours and grate it yourself if you want, or these are easy to work with. <laughs> Well, it's already shredded and then I had I had a huge bag so I put some of them in a baggie I separated <laughs> a huge bag so anyway and then I have some fajita mix now um, it's a fajita seasoning mix and these give it a lot of flavor and it has all the spices in it that you might want in your uh, in your meat dish it, it, it works wonderful it has a great flavor and it's just any kind of fajita seasoning mix will work okay so but you you would like to have this it does kind of it gives it a good flavor and then I have some steak that's a this is called a petite sirloin it's just a thin kind of a thin to medium sized steak I'm going to slice these up into little little strips so and that's all that we need it's pretty simple not a whole lot of ingredients but oh my goodness y'all these are these are so good I know most of y'all have had fajitas uh, most everybody's had fajitas and, and, and we love them oh my goodness but they're easy to make you can make them at home really easy and, and it, it really doesn't take much time so yeah, I hope y'all like it. So, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is work on my steak. On my steak. So, I'm just going to get a plate. I'm going to put these on here. Get it open. Get it open. Okay. So I'm going to just put one on here at a time and slice it up. I have a really good serraged serrated <laughs> serrated knife that's one with a sharp the teeth kind of on the side cuts really well and so I'm going to cut these into strips and figure out how I want to do them you can make them as big or little as you like I'm just going to cut them into some pieces And I'm doing it on a glass plate. 
I do that because I don't like to get the meat onto my cutting board. If you do uh, want to do it on a cutting board, it's best to use one cutting board all the time for meats and then a separate cutting board all the time for vegetables. But it's not good to do it interchangeably on one cutting board. Okay, it's good to have two different ones. I, I use my cutting boards only for vegetables. So, it's just what I like to do. But yeah, if you, if you do like to use a cutting board, then have one cutting board that's just for meat. I will show you these after I get them cut up. Just slicing them. It was just a little steak, little steaks. If you have some pieces of kind of real fatty pieces, you can kind of cut them off if you like. I have a few. small slices I'll show you just kind of like that See, they're not they're not real big and they will cook really quick so it's about like that and my long ones I think I'll go ahead and cut them in half you cut yours any way you want really but I'm just doing you know you want some kind of strip kind of long little pieces and Let's see, I'm going to put them in a bowl. Even a piece that has a little bit of fattiness on it, I'm still going to go ahead and put it in. It's still got meat on it. Still has meat on it. And These are really good. When I go to a Mexican restaurant, I almost always get fajitas. <laughs> I do love them. Yes, I do. They're tasty. And when they're cooking, they smell really good. But you, you get your steak and the onions and peppers all cooking. Mmm. Wonderful. The smell is always good. Cut that fat off. A little bit more. Okay, so this is pretty good. Whoops. There we go. And that had a lot of fat on it, so I just left that off. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, now I'm going to put some oil in here. Let's see. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm putting it down into here. One. That was two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now I'm going to put one fourth cup of water. Okay. One fourth 
cup of water. Got to here with my water going. <laughs> One fourth cup of water. Okay, put that in there. And now I'm going to put my fajita mix in here. Okay. this meat into this steak meat. Okay. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is let this sit. I'm gonna let it sit and just let the meat rest. I'm just gonna sit on the counter over here let the meat rest it kind of helps to get all the flavors incorporated into the meat if the meat just it, it uh, is more tender it's more flavorful um, all the flavor gets just all into that meat just oh really incorporated into it and tastes so good but give it time to just sit over here and rest so I'm going to sit it right here, and this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Okay. If you want to make it ahead of time, you can make it and sit it in the refrigerator for about 15-20 minutes, or half hour, whatever you like, and uh, that helps it give it a little bit of time to do that as well. But I'm making it right now, cooking it right now. <laughs> but you can do that ahead of time if you like. So, and there we go. So now I'm going to work on my uh, onions and bell peppers. So, I'll work on my onions first. Grab me a clean knife. Now my onions and my bell peppers, I'm going to do in some big pieces. So, I'll be able to do these real quick. I hope. <laughs> Get that skin off of there. Whew, they're potent ones. It's a good thing I'm going to come in big pieces. Oh yeah, very potent, very strong. Woo, this one is very strong. <laughs> okay, woo. <coughs> Not supposed to make me sneeze. I get my head going though, that's for sure. That's one potent onion. Now they say that when you're doing onions, you can put something else in your mouth and it's supposed to somehow help you for it to not get to you so bad. Eat a piece of bread or crackers. To me, I'm going to eat a piece of chocolate. <laughs> Maybe it'll help. I don't know. Mm. I'm going to rinse my onions off. I 
always rinse my onions off. Y'all know that in my videos. And I dry them so that they're not slippery. Easier to work with. Put all these in the trash. chunks okay straight down especially as with as potent as this thing is <laughs> oh that was a big one can see it so like that and then they're going to fall apart they should in big pieces like that fairly big kind of like that sort of big you can make them bigger or littler if you like it's fine and now kind of all put it in busy on my, on my bell pepper. I cut off. I already washed my bell peppers. Okay. I already washed these off and dried them real good. I always wash my vegetables whether they've been in, in the garden or come from the grocery store. I always wash them off. And I cut that like that. And then, so what I did was took the top off of it and then the bottom have all my seeds. I saved my seeds for the garden. And then here, you can kind of just hit it on the bottom. And some seeds will come out. Ooh, my eyes are still getting to me. And then, in the middle, just kind of pull out the spots on the middle that are white and that still have some seeds on them. for my sniffling in my eyes. <laughs> I onions get to me, but this time was pretty bad. That onion really affected me. So. <laughs> okay, now I just take the rest of this off of my bell pepper. Look at all them seeds. Each one of those seeds will grow you a whole pepper plant that has tons of peppers on it. So, that's like hundreds of peppers in your garden. Save them seeds. Yeah. Okay. Now I do get all the seeds out. I try to. I don't want the seeds in my food that I cook today. So I'm just going to cut these into some kind of big chunks. Big chunks. Cut it in a few pieces. And then just, um, you can do them in slices. You can cut them like that, something like that. Or you can even cut them up again if you like. I mean, it's not no big deal, but you do want them in fairly big pieces. Not 
real little. So something like that's fine too. Okay? Something like that. That one is kind of big. Cut all those white parts off. Okay. That's another bowl. This one I had cut off the end of it. it, had a bad spot so I cut it off earlier. And I'm just cutting off the top of it again. Just like I did the other one. I cut around. I cut around it. I cut around it but I don't cut it all the way through. That way when I pull the top, it takes out all the seeds. See, you don't cut it. Don't cut it all the way across. Just go around. And then pull those seeds out. That way you don't have a whole lot down in it. It's not very messy. And you can tap it. And it'll get a few seeds off. Go ahead and cut it up. Go ahead and cut it up. Bell peppers are really healthy. They're good. white stuff that has a few seeds on it, just kind of cut it off. Like that. Some of these are a little different sizes. That's okay. That's fine. There we go. A few more. So, we have our onions and our bell peppers. And we'll sit this. Oh, let me get this one done. <laughs> I don't waste any of this. You can actually pop this loose, but I'm afraid I'm going to make all the seeds come off. So I'm just going to cut it around the bottom and get the rest of them bell peppers. rest of that bell pepper off of there. There we go. Yeah. So I'll just move this out of the way and I will save all my seeds for our garden. Yes, I will. I love gardens. Fresh vegetables. That's always the best. Okay. So. Okay, y'all. So, I have our onions and bell peppers ready. And we have our meat ready. It has sat for a little bit while I cut those things up. And it let it rest. So, perfect. Now, I'm going to use my cast iron skillet. To cook in you can use any kind of skillet for this it, it'll cook great but I'm going to use my cast iron skillet I'm going to go ahead and turn it on medium this is going to be great it's going to be great now since I'm using my cast iron skillet I am going to put some vegetable oil in it now, if you're doing it in your regular skillet, you don't have to do this, but I always put a little bit of oil down into the bottom of my cast iron skillet. So even if it's just one, one or one or two uh, tablespoons of oil, only because I'm using my cast iron. Now, if I was using the, uh, a regular skillet, I'd probably put at least one tablespoon of oil. So here I'm going to put one, in my cast iron skillet. If you're using a regular skillet, you can just do one tablespoon. Oh, in my skillet. A 
and let it get warm. And I'm going to go ahead and put the meat in it, okay? This is going to be good. It's going to be so good. I have it on medium heat. just a little bit medium medium high to let it get warm so it won't take forever <laughs> so it'll get hot quick this is gonna be so good y'all yum I use a spoon. Just starting to get brown. And just let it brown. Now I'm gonna turn it back down to medium now that it got hot. Okay, I just wanted to get bring the heat up real quick. So now it's on medium. Okay. Yay, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. And that's our fajitas and cheese and all this good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the camera up here. Yeah. Okay, y'all. It's been just maybe a minute or so. And I'm going to turn the meat a little bit. I did turn that back onto medium heat. I'm make sure y'all know that you don't want to cook it too fast. That'll make it tough. You don't want it tough. Just kind of Turn it over a little bit here and there. Yum. This is going to be so good. Yum. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in now. This is not done yet, but it will be soon. And i got to get my onions in some pieces here. Some of them, like I said, I did make them big. Trying to stick together. Now I want to put the onions in first because bell peppers do not take as long. Big piece of onion. Big piece of onion. There we 
we go. Them onions in there. Oh, y'all. This is smelling good, too. It's smelling so good. Now the meat, you want to cook for maybe six to eight minutes. When you kind of look at it, you'll kind of know when it's done. This is about almost done. I gotta get my bell peppers in here. That's still on medium. <laughs> feel like turning it up. Let's put my bell peppers in. bigger skillet you can do that use one of them a bigger skillet this is about right because everything kind of shrinks down just a smidgen just a little bit oh yum 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 oh y'all this is gonna be so good I'm gonna put some salt and pepper just sprinkle it in If you can't have salt, then you can leave it out. Also, you can use garlic salt if you like that. Or even garlic. You can cut up garlic and put it in it. So, let that cook for just a minute. Just a little bit. ready my fajitas my cheese my sour cream and my and my uh, salsa to put on it when it gets done your vegetables will get a little bit more tender this way and it's the vegetables are getting all that flavor from the meat and the fajita seasoning. It's really, really good. You could cover it with a lid if you want to, but you still need to stir it every once in a while. So, I'll give it a few more minutes to cook. So, like I say, the meat and the vegetables, it's about six to eight minutes to cook. If you like your meat cooked well done, you can cook it for eight to ten. But uh, around eight minutes is pretty good for the meat and all of it to, uh, to simmer and cook and all together and get all the flavor into it. So, yum! And, oh! It smells so good. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer. I'll tell y'all. It's about, you know, when it's about eight minutes, I'll be back. And uh, we'll get to doing some of the other stuff. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. It's been at least two minutes. Maybe three. <laughs> But these look good. This looks good. Mm. 
Yum. And like I say, you can cover it with a lid if you want to. Holds in the moisture. But this has still got plenty of moisture in it for me. Yum. Yum. The egg, the onions, they're getting a brownish, this brownish look. Yeah, it's wonderful. And the uh, bell peppers are getting tender now. I don't want them mushy. I don't like, I don't like my bell peppers mushy. Just enough to be soft, softer, with a little bit of crunch still in them. In them. But the onions, yum, they're sauteing like. You know where they get, when you saute them and they, they get this uh, opaque look and uh, softer. <laughs> yum, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, this is great. <laughs> I'm good. Maybe one more minute. Maybe one more minute. Let my peppers get a little bit more tender. But the meat, I think the meat's about done. The steak and the onions are just, they're pretty much, the onions are done. Only some of my bell peppers in the bottom now. They're getting a little bit more tender. This is great. Oh, yeah. Yum. Okay. So now my bell peppers are the consistency that I like. They're not soft. Too soft. They've still got a crunch to them. The onions are done. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, y'all. This is done. This is ready. Mmm. -hmm. Yum. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, I turned this off. And I decided to leave it in this pan because cast iron skillets hold in the heat. And it'll keep it hot, but it, it won't hurt it by cooking it kind of a little bit more. Because it does hold in the heat, but it's ready. Like I said, you want to cook that um, six to eight minutes or eight to ten at most. Yeah, you don't want to cook your uh, your stuff too much. <laughs> and my my tortillas. Whoops! I pulled out two of them. Okay. And I thought I got two plates. Okay, I got another plate. Okay, I have two tortillas. And I'm going to heat this in the microwave just a little bit, like 10, 15 seconds. Okay, it makes it more pliable makes it bend a little bit more or you could mix it together put it together and then put it in there so that works too so hmm, which way should i do it i'll put it in there about 15 seconds this opened sour cream and and I can't get it open ah, okay <laughs> I got it my salsa salsa and my sour cream I want them and then my cheese I have a couple of spoons new so I'm gonna stir it up and my sour cream when sour cream has sat it separates okay it's good to stir it up it separates 
It's not bad. It just separates. Yum. Perfect. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, 15. A little more than 15 seconds. And we'll do this one. 15. Now, different microwaves, some have more power than others, and that's why I say probably no more than 15 seconds. But you'll know, you just feel it, and it's warm, it's easy to, to move and to bend about. To bend about. That's my heater in my way. <laughs> Got my heater down there. Perfect little heater though. So, now, we're ready. To put this yummy stuff on our burrito wrap things, on our fajita wraps. Look at that. Yum. Yeah, this is great. This is this is as good or better than going to a restaurant. You make it yourself, you get a whole lot more. Oh my gosh, yes, that tastes so good. You get a lot more for everybody. A lot less money. Oh, yes. Yeah. So good. So, I'm going to start putting this on. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let me stir that up. Get that liquid stuff down the bottom of it, all over it. Oh, my goodness. Great flavor, y'all. And them onions. Boy, them onions got to me early. <laughs> them onions got to me. I have not had a video where my onions got to me so bad like they did today. Messed up my eyes pretty bad, but they're worth it. Oh, they're worth it. Onions are wonderful. They're healthy. They are, uh, they have a lot of antioxidants in them. They're good to keep inflammation down in your body, okay? They're very helpful. They're good. If you don't like them, a lot of people don't like them raw, but if they've ever, ever had them cooked, sauteed, or especially sauteed and cooked in the meat, they have such a good flavor. They're so good that way. So if you've never had them, you know, cooked, it's a big difference. A lot of people don't like them raw, and I understand that, but try them different ways. Yeah. So I'm just putting this on, on here. Just put some on your plate. Yum! On that fajita. Like I say, you can use little fajita wraps or you can get these big ones. I like the big ones. <laughs> little ones are fine too. Okay. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Like I say, when you're making them at home, you can make a lot. These are so good. And probably what I'm, okay, I'm putting too much on here. <laughs> I got to get this other stuff on there too. And get it wrapped up. My eyes are getting too big. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'd be better. It'd be easier for me to wrap. So, when you go to wrap them, yeah, try not to put too much because by the time you put the other stuff on there, then it's harder to wrap them up. I'll show you how to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my cheese on here. Yeah, before it melts. Just get you a little handful, put it on top if you want cheese. Now, some people like to eat them just like this. Just wrap it up, eat it. You know, you can put your salsa or, or your or your uh, sour cream on it and wrap it up. You can put lettuce on it if you like. Some people will put lettuce, all everything. There, I've had everything: lettuce, cheese, salsa, sour cream, all on it. It's good, but it's good just like that too. So you can eat your fajitas. Any which way you like, okay? 
It's your fajita. You gotta make it your way now. <laughs> You're eating it. Make it yummy. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got my cheese on. I'm gonna put my sour, my um, bleh, my uh, salsa. I'm gonna put some salsa on mine, on ours. My, 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 this is going to be so good. <laughs> Yummy! I do like these. Oh my goodness, I like these. <laughs> I love Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Yes, I do. Put a couple of dollops of sour cream. If you like sour cream, ooh, I think this is plenty. <laughs> now I get the fun part of wrapping them up. Okay, now whichever end that you don't have as much stuff on, try to fold that up a little bit first. So let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna fold that up. Fold this one over. Kind of push down on the sides down here a little bit. Okay, and then just fold that over. And now fold your other one over. And you can bring the corner up a little bit. I hope y'all can see this. Okay. See, I've just brought it over. And now this right here, you fold it, you can fold this part up a little bit more if you like. Fold it up a little more. If you can see what I did, I hope you can. And then now just fold it over. But it takes two hands to kind of force that in and over. Because you want it to get over quite a bit. And there we go. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum. <laughs> I get to eat it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud. Oh, yes. This is great. This is wonderful. Let me say a quick prayer. And then I get to dig in. <laughs> Our Father in Heaven, I thank you for helping me make another good dish. I thank you, Father, for all my friends and family and for all my viewers. Father, I thank you for being with us. and Thank you for taking such good care of us. Thank you for blessing us, and thank you for all the love you give us. Thank you for your son. Thank you for everything, Father. Father, I ask you to bless this food and help it to nourish our bodies. Thank you for all the guidance and everything that you give me and taking care of all of us. Thank you. Father, I pray that you help us to be the kind of people you want us to be. Help us to treat each other right and do the right things in life. Make good choices. And Thank you for everything, Father. Thank you for all our loved ones. Thank you, Father. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so good. So good, y'all. Oh, I did show y'all that. Look at this. <laughs> all the juice is coming out now. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what can I say? It smells good. It's going to taste so good. And this was really easy. I mean, this was easy to make. It really was. The hardest thing was the onions <laughs> getting to my eyes. So anyway, I want y'all to see. That's a little bit more. I want y'all to see. There is still half a pan. I mean, this is enough for at least four or five. You could do six. Because I did put quite a bit on those. But five or six um, good sized big burritos. Yeah. Big uh, fajitas. <laughs> oh, I'm a fajita. A fajita on a burrito. <laughs> uh, they're the same thing to me. A fajita or a burrito. And uh, it just depends on what you put in it. But this mixture is called fajita mix with the steak 
And you can do it with chicken and other meats. I love it with the steak. So I'll make another one a different way uh, sometime. And yeah, they're wonderful. Easy to make. You have a whole lot. Inexpensive when you make it like this at home. Oh, very good. So, <laughs> but I mean, I love you got all the different colors, all the good flavors, and I waited too long, but it's dripping out the bottom. It's dripping out the bottom. <laughs> so you can drain you can drain it when you do yours, and you won't get as much liquid. I like the liquid though. It's messy. But it has a lot of flavor in it. So, mine's going to drip out the bottom. I waited too long to come over here and eat it. Mmm. 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 Mom's dripping. Keep it over your plate. <laughs> Unless you drain it. I didn't drain it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to drain mine. I had a big bite of meat and bell peppers. Oh, I love bell peppers and onions like this. Oh, man. Mmm. 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 Okay, y'all. That meat is perfect. It's tender, okay? Your onions and your bell peppers. These things. Your, it's like I said, the bell peppers are just the way that I like. They're not mushy, but they're not real hard, okay? They have that little bit of bite, which means a little bit of crunch. So when I say bite, that means crunch. But in the onions, they're sauteed. They got all that flavor in them. Perfect, perfect. The meat, the meat is cooked perfect amount of time. Uh, about eight minutes. I think eight minutes is really good. So, but you saw me put my bell peppers in last because I didn't want them mushy. And you'll learn, you know, whatever way you like to for your bell peppers to be. Um, I know a lot of y'all, y'all know all about how to cook them. Well, this is nothing new to a lot of people. Y'all all know how all this stuff with the, the meat and the bell peppers and onions and all, and especially for making for uh, fajitas. But as y'all know, I do try to teach a lot of young people how to do something step by step because we have a lot of new people getting out and learning how to cook in the kitchen. And that's what I try to tell people. And so that's why some of my videos are kind of long. And they're kind of, you know, it's like I said, I teach step by step. Every little bit, I try to. And I really hope that that's helping a lot of young people. Or anybody that's trying to get in the kitchen or get back into the kitchen. Uh, but... These are wonderful, y'all. These are so good. <laughs> and I, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that helps somebody. And I thank y'all for watching them all the way through. Now, I do have a lot of other uh, things that I've put on YouTube, on my channel. Uh, all kinds of, um, I'm making, I make casseroles, uh, main dishes like your meats, uh, my casseroles and then uh, soups, salads, vegetables, breads, um, pies and cakes and desserts, a uh, little bit of everything. I try to put all kinds of good stuff out, a good variety, and I hope that you guys will check them out. Uh, and, and if you do, I hope that you'll subscribe. I hope you all like the way that, that my style of teaching and of cooking and I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. So, thank you so very much for watching. And um, I hope you'll check out my other, other um, videos. And I hope that you'll subscribe. That'd be wonderful. 
So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So, try it. Yum! <laughs> so, as always, bye!